Hi, this is Dave from the Montello Pigeon Club, and I thought I would make a video on how to hook up your club system for basketing on the night of a race. Never saw a video out there, so I thought I would make one, especially for people that, you know, aren't really computer savvy. So, this is how we set it up at our club, so I hope this helps somebody. First thing I'm going to do is, you're going to need a printer when you basket. So, we use an Okidata B4600 and uh, works good for us. Some of the older printers are more expensive laser printers. If you ever notice on the back of them, they have a uh, parallel connection here. And those work best with the, uh, the club system for our club. So, if you can still find a printer that way, it's probably going to work with your system. So, anyway, you'll need the, the printer and you will need the power for the printer, of course. Always plug your club system into a surge protector. Um, we always do, just, you know, things happen and it's better to be protected than just, you know, you're going to need all these outlets anyway for power. So, it's another reason why you're going to need all this. After you plug that in, the other connection you're going to need is the actual cable, and uh, it's a 25 pin, I do believe. So the 25 pin goes in the back here, locks in, and I always turn this around. When you're basketing, of course, you'll probably have more rooms than I do, like in my living room here, but um, it works good. Then you'll need your uh, clock system. We use the Benzing um, system here with this Atus, um, or I mean, I'm sorry, the uh, the club system. You got the one port. I leave it connected in all the time, but this goes to your your atomic clock, and uh, this is our atomic clock here. And there's it's like a phone connection on the back. It just clicks in there. Um, so those are those two connections there, the clock to the left port, it actually says on there, there's a picture of a clock on it, so you can't mess that up. Your printer then goes right next to it, there's a, you'll see the big long connection there, that's lines up here, that goes into there. Tighten up your connections. I've had these cables go bad, they're hard to find anymore, but you know, I think they do work with the other one over here. There's a new, uh, the new printers, but I've never used it that way, so I'm showing you how we do it now. So now you have those two hooked up. Then you get the power supply, which actually powers the club system, and it looks like this. There may be other adapters out there, but this is Benzing's newer one. These actually power the clocks too, um, so you can plug that in to the right side where that goes. You can plug this into the surge. Then the only other parts you're going to have to do basketing that night are the badges. You know, and we have um, these two here. Blue starts the, the race, and red is the evaluation one to print off your race results when the race is over. These badges here work with the old um, with the old clocks. Um, the original um, Benzing clocks, um, I don't have one to show you here, but certain um, badges go to certain clocks. So these may work with, um, you know, three three of the, the clocks, and these work with the, the older original clock. So um, it all depends, you know, which one you'll do, and I may make another video of that to show you how to do that. So. Then you got the different cables, um, you know, that will eventually plug into the side here. You got two ports, four pin ports. One goes here. You can actually have two plugged in, but you can't have two clocks hooked in at the same time. So you can leave the cables hooked in, you know, but you don't want to have a clock here and a clock hooked at the same time. So, um, so this is a I don't know what pin this is. Fifteen. This goes for one of the clocks. And then 